Hello, I'm Lisa for WTF Lisa Tarot, and I get messages through songs. So I have one year bud in, one year bud out. Like, share, subscribe, follow, drop a tip, cash up, why don't you? WTF Lisa Tarot. Show my store, WTF Lisa eBay. It is a random store because that is eBay. You can get recorded video tarot readings at WTF Lisa Etsy. Um, Links are in the description. You will hear the music. And they're personalized for you. I copyright issues here, so you can't play it. Phone, video chat, WTFLisaTarot.com are closed because my schedule's weird. Karma is my boyfriend. I have Taylor Swift. Karma. I love Taylor Swift. Um, And I love Karma. I, I have accepted my own. Fine. You're talking shit for the hell of it. Addicted to betrayal, but you're relevant. And I know, like, I, sometimes I will involuntarily type or write things because I do automatic writing, and I'm trying to learn how to control that. I didn't realize it was something I did. It's a weird vibe. I don't know how to explain that. That's a whole different topic. It's un knowing your role now, understanding your role. Things have been confused, funky, and weird for a while for everybody in some way, but some people are now understanding their role. Because karma is my boyfriend. Karma is a god. Karma is the breeze of my hair on the weekend. Karma's, uh, karma's a relaxing thought, Karmi. Karmi. Now I was thinking of Kermit when Miss Piggy calls Kermit Kermi. Karmi. Karmi is my boyfriend. Karma the frog? Like what? Uh, I got a five of swords, but ace of wands. Somebody is trying to teach lessons, hermit, ace of cup, lessons of love, but then lessons ain't hitting home. In some cases, someone is incapable, ten of wands of learning. So now it's coming back tenfold. It's coming back around. So who's getting that tenfold karma? Five of wands, two coins, two people, a couple of idiots. They, you reap what you sow, and they have sown a lot of karma of the bad sort. Because karma is also a good thing, too. It can be good and bad. It's just, unfortunately, we live in a weird, wild, funky world where people are giant fuck-ups, and this is what happens. It should be yes, but for you, it's not, says Taylor Swift. The world's seven of wands. Be prepared for them weird social media stories weird weird news stories whatever it is whatever way it comes to you if hey did you hear about what happened to Susie and Jim did you hear about what happened to Bob and Dylan that's weird Bob Dylan because karma is the four swords hangman hierophant people that they try to pretend to be one thing in the street with this hierophant they try to present a good image they are anything but it's their end Ten of Swords. And there's various ways those ends will come. A lot of people about to have very heavy bad karma for being a fuck up. And it'll come through death, jail, all the ways that karma comes. There will be some people getting good karma too, but that's not what I'm reading. I'm reading the bad ones. <clears throat> I feel like the energy for the ones getting good karma, the energy is to be quiet about it so these ones don't fuck it up for you. And this is also who to avoid, so it does not fuck with your good vibes. Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is a god. Jealousy, sidetracked envy, the narcs in your life. Shady individuals are going to get what happens to shady individuals when they fuck around. For some of you, freedom, admiration, and wise, the good karma coming to you is being kept quiet, so those shady individuals, power couple, don't fuck it up, co-workers, snitch. Tell somebody to tell somebody, and then did see they come fuck it up. There's an important reason why some of these readings are more negative. I'm looking at you through the glass. Oh, this card's upside down. That's weird. As good it feels like forever. I have stone sour through glass. I haven't heard this song in forever. Sitting all alone inside your head. Some of you might be feeling weird vibes and you know it's not your energy. You're just picking up on stuff, but it's not you. I'm having that a lot. So I am involuntarily talking about people I don't like. And now I, so that's why I know something's happening with them. But then weird coincidences as well that I'm not going to talk about. I couldn't tell you face to face. I'm waiting for an apology. And what did you want from me? 
I fantasize about you. That's why some of you are feeling the weird vibes. They're throwing the energy out. Some of it's a DOA type of vibe. There's a lot of weird energy of projection in spooky land right now. I've already kind of forgotten what I was talking about. That's weird. I pretend you don't mean that much. And I forgive you. Um, a lot of people want forgiveness that they're just not going to get. Other people, it's, they've let it go already. Why are you still lurking? Because they're about to go down. Now I have the weird, a variety of weird supernatural encounters. And I should have wrote down the date they started because it's only been in the last month, I would say. And I've talked about two of them, but I didn't talk about the third much. I may do that because full three of coins. It was very odd and knight of wands. I'm still kind of learning about things too as I teach. Why? Because if you have to keep learning in order to teach and speak. Ace of coins. You don't know everything. Eight of wands. The more you know, the more you realize what this will fortune. The the more you don't know. Three of wands. That's how it is. Always be learning. And with this Empress, Six of Swords star, a lot of you on this divine path, you're continuing to learn and grow. And things, more th doors open up to you, some good, some bad, and you just have to learn. Whereas other people, Knight of Cups, Five of Cups, who cannot learn, Chariot, are being removed. Because Seven of Swords, they don't learn. Lessons and blessings, it's all about karma. Good karma, bad karma. So we're quiet about the good karma coming. And, but we're talking about the bad karma coming. coming. Why? Because for one, it's a lesson, so people can avoid it. But for two, it's so you know who to avoid so it doesn't fuck up your good shit. The stars fall for you. Now, I've had a heavy vibe of this. We have Aries season, which just started. And I think of Aries in Greek mythology, who uh, the gods didn't like him. He was a hothead. And they have all these reasons. But when I read about the guy, I actually kind of dig him. I'm a little attracted to him, but I'm always attracted to like assholes. So it's a problem for me that I need to work on. But I will say this. He is the only god that didn't tolerate raping women. When, uh, I think it was Poseidon's little bitch boy decided to rape one of Ares' daughters to kill them. And he defended himself in court and the goddesses decided in his favor, he was the only Greek god. So you want to call him a hothead, anything bad you got to say, I don't give a fuck. The dude defended women. Yes, he was a bit of a hothead, but you know what? It's kind of hot too. I don't know why. I'm weird. <laughs> but I like the fact that he stood up for what was right and didn't let the other men bully. He was like, no, not my daughters. No. And that was awesome. Dude gave no fucks. And he ended up bringing down the uh, that whole deal anyway. If you read Greek mythology, I find him attractive as hell. And I don't even, like, I don't resonate at all with Aphrodite. At all. I know she was his main bitch, but I'm just like, oh, Aries. It's so weird. <laughs> I like that warrior, like, type of vibe, though. I was also attracted to Captain America's character, like, the vibe of, like, character, not so much Chris Evans. Although, I mean, he's good to look at, but he's a puppet, whatever. Like, the vibe of Captain America, the truth, justice, but that's not a real thing. Those men don't exist. Emperor Ares energy. Ares was the god of war. <laughs> and this queen of coins I just talked about. With this mid I got sirens in my ear. It's a song called Staying Alive by Entrance and Ricardo de Force. I actually did a dance to this a couple years ago. I recorded it. It's really quick. And my hat fell over my eyes, but I just kept dancing. It was so fun. Ten of Wands, Aries is coming down to teach some lessons, so to speak. You know what I mean? Now who got the fever flavor? Who can dig the way that it flex on the track? Because I'm causing rampage. Rickety Rick on point with the 9-5 style for my lips. They be rolling mad joints, so put your hands in the air. There's a party over here, grab yourself a beer, and then shit's gonna go down. This is a weird vibe. Aries vibe. I don't think the actual god Aries is coming down. It's the energy, though. That it's a war, and some asses are about to get, it, get handed. Back to the master. What am I saying? That's not even. Uh, your ass is handed back to the master. Ha ha! 
stay alive, stay alive. They take the B the Beastie Boys. That is the wrong band. The Bee Gees. I keep fucking up musicians' names lately. I just called the Bee Gees Beastie Boys. Oh my god. Anyway, they take that and then they do their own rap remix. This is an awesome song. It makes me happy. It's like a jock jam, but it's fun. Get raw with the feeble on the dance floor. Step to the side, clap. You gotta run and hide. Move to the side, clap, clap. Everybody wants to stay alive. Well, some people won't be alive. Karma is a bitch. Aries, karma, and, you know, the same old, same old rigmarole. Uh, I love that word. My mom used to say it. And it's funny. I pulled the king of wands when I said my mom and she was a Leo, but she always came up as a masculine. Even though playing the cup, she was a woman. I just this energy, though, of like, you fucked around. Spirit's coming back. You fuck with my baby. I'm coming back to kick your ass. So I don't know. <laughs> I'll leave it at something weird, like Poseidon's son needs to watch out because Aries is going to kick your ass. Eh. 